Hey guys, today we are going to talk about one of the rudest things you can do in magic is when someone offers to shake your hand, offer number one, here's offer number two, and reject it twice. So this happens a lot at FNM, it happens a lot pre-release, and most players would find this unacceptable because, hey, you're just giving someone a handshake to thank them for their time and sitting down and playing a good game of magic. Sometimes people take it way too seriously. And I've seen this at FNM where a guy, he'll put his headphones on and he's playing magic with his headphones and you're like, hey, if he, he does not want you to ask him questions. So I'm going to just go on a roast, a very aggressive roast about why this behavior is absolutely unacceptable. It just makes people feel bad for no other reason than making them feel bad. There's no reason you can't give a handshake. A handshake doesn't cost you any money. It shouldn't cost you any pride. This handshake was not a joke. It wasn't sarcasm. It was just thank you for your time. And many Magic players have very bad and poor behavior. And the next time this happens, First of all, the person who doesn't give the handshake, he's going to continue to behave this way. This is just who he is. But the person who did not receive the handshake, who offered the handshake and did not receive it, they might think, hmm, you know, this guy's a deuce bag. I'm, not, I'm going to make the next person I play feel exactly the same way this guy made me play, made me feel when I played him. So it's a cycle, and there's no reason for this cycle to exist and it's self-defeating, right? It's very, you might think it's funny that MTG Lions talking about community, right? But it's very destructive on the community because for no other reason than, there's no reason, you have altered how your opponent is feeling and how they may or may not interact with their future opponents later down the road. I get it, you know, I get it. It's a big Star City Games in the lovely city of Cincinnati. But just have some common decency, like, wow. Uh, and you see this all the time. Uh, you see this all the time, especially for me, pre-release, when you have new people come in and stuff and no one knows each other. Uh, I mean, when you know somebody and you see them in a the store, you're more likely to treat them better. Now, I've still had people throw decks in my general direction because they got mana flooded. But generally, if you guys are local and you know each other, you're not going to misbehave. It's when you don't know each other that this t type of behavior is exhibited. Later this week, I'm going to make a, doc a not a documentary, but like a psycho, a psychologic, hmm. The word not coming to me right now on Alex Bracini and why the most hated player, which I think would be Alex, why he would continue to play Magic when literally all his opponents hate him, right? Like what is the psychology behind his mindset? What's his ego and his id and all of that stuff? But what's the psychology of being on camera, being on Twitch, understanding, yes, you are on camera, you are on Twitch, maybe you should shake the dude's hand because if you do not, you're going to be roasted. And you know this because it happens every single time. So it's the same with the cheater. You know you're on camera. You sign a document saying that you agree to be on camera. You see the cameras. Your opponent sees the camera. You're, in this case, your uh, team sees the camera. Like there's no mystery that you're being filmed. And many people are watching this. And many people will watch this forever and ever and ever. And this will be the core example of poor sportsman-like behavior in Magic the Gathering. I, I mean, whew, he offered the handshake twice. Um, now, here's a interesting little tidbit. So the guy won. So the guy offering the handshake won the game. And typically, when you offer the handshake, it comes from the opponent saying, okay, well, good job, you beat me. Here's a handshake, I resign. Or I, it's like chess, right? You put your king down. That's pretty much what the handshake means. So it's a little strange that the winner is offering the handshake and I can 
kind of see how that might be a little offensive, but at the same time, you can see his face, you can see his interaction, a second handshake was offered. You're on camera, like you are, I do consider that yes, you guys watch my videos and it's not like, according to YouTube, it's about a thousand people, I guess, a day, a video. I know that if I say something totally outlandish and something I re would regret saying that yes, someone would screenshot this and someone would like copy the video and whatever, right? What I'm here to tell you is if you're on camera, you better behave. No cheating, shake someone's hand. If you want to behave poorly, being on camera is not the time to do it. It is not the time to cheat. And what type of mentality does it take when, you know, these are Star City Pro grinders. These are names or people who have played multiple events. They know what being on camera is. I could see if someone's a new player and they didn't really understand. Yeah, I mean, that's not the case here. These are grinders. Have a little bit of respect. Have a little bit of sportsman like conduct and even if you don't feel like shaking someone's hand shake it because you can be a role model for people watching there might be younger and there probably is younger audience members watching this and seeing this behavior and wondering if this behavior is acceptable and they go well it's acceptable and it's not. Uh, it, you are a role model whether or not you want to be you are you're on camera people are watching you, people are learning from you, and poor behavior is poor behavior. No matter at what level, uh, at pro level, at the pro tour, at Star City Games Openo, Openo, <laughs> Openo, <laughs> wow, wow, it's a long night, guys. Um, yeah, so fascinating topic, and it's something that you see, I see at every F&M, and, &M. and the, the reason... The reason that it happened so much, I used to think when I was younger that it happened because the person was just so focused on sideboarding or so focused on the game mechanics and you know that then I just realized that people are people and some people are going to be nice and some people are not going to be nice. And my suggestion for the not so nice people is if you're on camera, you at least should try to be nice. So it's my suggestion for cheaters too. Like it does not serve you any benefit to cheat on camera because you are going to be caught and then you're going to be banned and then you're going to come back again and make fun of the time that you were caught on camera for two explorers. Kind of strange, right? Kind of strange. Now I'm going to take a little bit of time to argue the other side, which is, you know, why is the winner offering the handshake, right? Is that considered offensive? Is that considered something that's wrong from that side? And I would say no. I mean, you're just saying, hey, I appreciate that you took the time to come stay and play. And, you know, I wish you the best of luck in the, the rest of your rounds. I don't find it offensive if I lose and then someone offers to shake my hand. It's just a friendly gesture. I, I don't see how it can be taken as sarcasm or as something that is, you know, I'm trying to offend you. Like clearly I won, so I'm in a good mood and I just want to wish you the best of luck. Handshake one, nope. Watch for handshake number two, nope. <laughs> just a nod, <laughs> a nod, no. I mean, oh man, <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine like if, um, I know this does happen in real sports too, and they do get criticized on like, you know, Skip Bayless and oh, what's Stephen A. And then now Max and what's the Sh Shannon Sharp? I like him a lot. He's probably my favorite of the four. Oh no, I do like Skip. I think I like their show a little bit better. Yeah, they get roasted all the time for unsportsman. You know, they roast people all the time for unsportsmanlike behavior uh, in real sports. I just find it so strange that this is Magic the Gathering, right? Like, what is the cost of a handshake? 
did you lose anything? Like, did you think pe- you lost respect from your teammates? I, like, what what did you lose? What can you possibly lose by shaking this guy's hand? Maybe, like, you don't want to shake it the first time, but the second time, clearly the guy just wanted to say, like, thank you for your time. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.